Hello, Teacher Pat here. I am doing a simple educational DIY. I found this frame at uh, Goodwill for only $2. And, and then I had a bag of feathers, a bunch of feathers here that I have that I've been collecting and this baggie that I have. But these are the ones that I've selected. I even have a little peacock feather here. And so what I want to do for one of my science classes is to be able to um, um, st set them in the frame. That's my goal. Have them in the frame and then just label them. To, to label them with the white marker. Uh, I mean, not the white marker, excuse me. This um, permanent black marker, this Sharpie. And so I actually today, <laughs> these feathers were right by my front door. These happen to be a mockingbird's feather. We have a mockingbird that sings so beautifully. And um, this is a actually a gorgeous blue feather. We've had uh, green conyers before. Um, and this, this is part of some of those birds that we've had in the past. This is a green conure. I'm sorry. And then we have this gorgeous orange one. Look at that, how brilliant that is. But so my, my, um, my goal is to set them out. And so when I discuss feathers, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to label them at the bottom underneath. And um, my students can pass this around in class. And they don't all go flying everywhere. So I thought this would be a great idea to share with all you science teachers out there. Just find an old frame and have your students bring in feathers if they've got, you know, <laughs> children, they love to collect things and they may have some very interesting feathers. You could also, um, I'm trying to find one right here with a little bit of downy on it, but see how this plumage is right here, kind of soft. That is a downy feather. And so these right here are actually primary feathers and um, some are secondary. This is actually a peacock's downy feather. That's why it's so small and fits in this frame. I got this also at Goodwill in a pack of 10 um, peacock feathers, but children really like visuals. Um, I do allow my students to use the regular feathers that I have here um, for different experiments. I won't use the nicer ones for it, but there's an experiment you could do um, about how oil affects um, feathers that you can do um, and then which detergents help remove the oil from them and you can um, discuss about oil spills and how animals um, this has happened in the past where SeaWorld has had to go out to different locations and help um, bathe all these ducks or any uh, creatures that were affected by the oil spill. So that's a great thing to do with feathers. So I just um, wanted to throw that out for you, give you the idea of the DIY. It's so simple and so easy for anyone to do. I hope this helps you all um, with teaching a unit on birds. So I'll see you then. Uh, happy teaching. Bye-bye.